Back, a young gymnast who is a two-time world champion has announced her retirement, not because of physical injury, but because of what she describes as the emotional and verbal abuse that she's endured. ABC's Andrea Fajui has that story. This morning, elite gymnast Kara Aker is leaving the mat behind. The 20-year-old two-time world champion unexpectedly announcing her retirement after suffering what she calls verbal and emotional abuse while training with the University of Utah's gymnastics team. Aker posting on Instagram that a male coach would suddenly erupt with anger and physically slam down mats and get up in an athlete's face as a tactic to intimidate them. She claims to have gone to the school's athletic department to report the behavior, but was allegedly dismissed. I was really interested in coming to Utah because of their team chemistry. And the 2021 Olympic alternate like, opening up about how the experience has affected her, saying, I was scared to death by the loud and angry outbursts from the coach, and saying her physical, mental, and emotional health has rapidly declined. Ager has not publicly named the source of the alleged abuse, but the team's head coach, Tom Farden, recently faced allegations of verbal and emotional abuse from former athletes. An investigation conducted by a third party found his conduct included cursing and throwing of objects. Farden allegedly would negatively comment on body image, weight or food choices, and targeted struggling students with negative treatment, in one case allegedly telling an athlete she would be a nobody working at a gas station. But the review concluded Coach Farden did not engage in any acts of physical abuse, emotional abuse, or harassment as defined by Safe Sport Code. How can the University of Utah not reopen its investigation? If we've learned anything over all these years, it's that you should listen to the voice of an athlete, even if it's only one athlete. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. And to add here, Aker said that she is speaking out for all the women who can't because they're paralyzed by fear.